Hi guys, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com. Come to you today to do a demo on uh, the Star Wars uh, clock radio here. They call it the uh, Clone Wars. And uh, if this is your first time uh, stopping at my channel and uh, possibly even going to my uh, eBay auctions. Um, I do demo videos, I do intro videos, and I do sneak peek videos. And today I'm going to do a demo video on this uh, Star Wars clock radio I picked up. And um, I usually do this, folks, to uh, do live tests on it uh, and videos on these uh, particular items, electronics, to show you that the item does work and is fully functional. I point out if there's any... Um, flaws on the item if there's anything missing or something that you that you need to know um, I do the videos also to uh, let you know in an, you know like let's say I forget something in the description uh, at least the video will pick it up you know so uh, I like to do these things I've done a lot of videos like this here and if you're a regular subscriber to the channel you'll know that when I do these uh, demo videos uh, that's what it's all about that's what it entails so without any further ado let's see what we got over here first off the um, item itself is in clean condition it's pretty clean all the way around okay all right now this this item does come with the uh, 4.5 volt uh, AC adapter which is right over here I have it plugged in so we could do the test on it okay you will get the adapter with it there is no manual and there's no original packaging with this item so if you do get it you know I don't want you to expect a box or anything that original box because it was this is pre-owned but it is very clean um, and so far, everything seems to be functioning well on it. Uh, I just want to go over it with you. Um, I don't know if you could see it in the, the webcam here, but I'll point it out to you. And I will put I will put it in the description as well. There's a light little scuff mark right over here. You can't see it, but if you were in per if it, well, you seen it, you would see it in person. There's a light little scuff mark right over here, very light. It doesn't affect the viewing or anything like that of the screen. Um, everything's like I said, it's pretty functional on it. Uh, I try to clean up over here, I have like little marks over here on the bottom. You can't see it, see the webcam, the white balance is thrown in out, plus the item itself is white. But there's like little marks over here. I try cleaning it up on the bottom here with the mild cleanser. Um, I'm not going to use any abrasive cleaner on it because then you'll scratch and you'll take the, the, the glossy shine away from it. Um, that's basically all I could tell you on this part here. Here's your battery uh, backup. It takes uh, three of these, it takes three AA batteries. So you might want to invest money in these. It did come with the batteries. It did come with these batteries in there. And uh, as a rule, I don't usually include batteries in there. First of all, those batteries are dead anyway. Um, I'm not going to send you a thing with dead batteries in it. But I, as a rule, any electronics, if it's the first time, like I said, coming to uh, my site here, my channel, um, on electronic things, battery operated, uh, most of the time I don't include batteries. Yeah, I very rarely would ever do that. But that's what you got going on. And... Um, well, I'm on a battery subject, you might want to consider getting one of these. It's a, a very versatile little tool, and uh, you don't have to sit there uh, taking uh, batteries out of a flashlight and testing them out using a bat you know, flashlight as a battery test. I was using that for a while, and uh, I asked myself, there's got to be a better way, and there is a better way. I went to Walmart to pick this thing up. I don't know if it cost me 3 or $4, but it's worth it. It's a good tool to have, especially if you're going to, um, if you're selling on uh, eBay or whatever and you need to test things out batteries you know this is the way to go and I also uh, with my int you know intros demos I always bring a tape ruler around just to do dimensions of the thing uh, give you a little insight of it but anyway without any more of that there um, you can see it's pretty clean okay and it has over here on the side of here has um, on and try me so let's turn it on here okay and you'll see it powered on okay and when you hit the button over here it gives us a demo sound okay I guess that's how, I guess that's how it lights up let me do it again so you see everything lights up sorry about the annoying sound though okay see the lights there that's where you see that everything where I could see this guy lit up here the clone was thing and let me do it over here so you can see again that the other sides of the lights work uh, yeah that's yeah you can see it. there you go see all the lights work as you can see um, I don't know if that's a sound that wakes you up if it does it's kind of annoying <laughs> to be honest I mean I'm just saying but uh, I know I don't have the manual so I'm doing everything you know I, I'm learning as I go along with this 
Uh, this they say it's a demo sound, right? Yeah, I think it's a demo sound is what they said. Let me turn this light on here just to make sure. Uh, demo. Oh, what a sound. It says demo song. Well, I don't know. Maybe if that's a song. Ooh, if that's a song. Huh? I don't know what kind of song that is. Anyway, I noticed though with that with that there, uh, it shuts the lights on. I see, like it goes off like that. Well, let me see it again. Now it's gonna make. See, it goes dark. Oh, I guess it does go on. See, I'm learning something new too. Anyway, as you can see, that works. Um, let's try the radio now. Let's turn on the radio. Um, bear with me, folks. I'm sorry. I don't know one of these these type of things here. Let's see if I can get the radio here. I had it on before. Um, Let's see, maybe. Oh, you got to go like this, maybe. I'm sorry. I know I had it on. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, oh. It comes in a lot clearer than that. I had it a for chat. Reception's not good around here. Hold on. It comes, in, it comes in really clear. So you could say. I'm trying to get a channel that comes in. Good. Okay. Oh, great. Getting all, all chasing the stations I don't really want. Well, you get the just it. It does work. Say it, comes I mean, in. Say, it comes in clear. It comes in clear. Okay. Maybe they've learned something okay. Now and you can bring them you, back. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, that's what we got Korea. going on here. Okay. That's what we got going on. You, as you can see, it does work. Um, I would take it. This is just snooze button because it does go up and down. Right. Okay. Uh, but that's what you got going on here with this here. Um, I can't tell you any more about it. The figurine is pretty clean. Um, I guess with the blue light, lights them up a little bit. See, it looks like he lights them up. Shines them up. I don't know if you can see that in this, in this webcam. Oh, but anyway, if you can see it, it looks like it lights them up over your seat of here. There you go. So I'm talking about. No. It's a little hard to see because the white balance is thrown if you got all those things there. But when it comes up, the blues like lighting them up a little here. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, that's what I got going on with this here. Uh, if you have any questions on it, um, please email me at rjpassini at verizon.net. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Like I said, I don't have the uh, a manual or original packaging with this here, so um, I don't think it's hard to figure out. I don't know if this has different bands on here, like if it's an AM and FM. Um, I was trying to play around with it. I don't know if I I don't see that says AM FM on it. It might be. Um, I'll play around with it long. I don't want to do it now because the video will be too long. Um, but if it does have an FM on it, I will let you know. If, or if it's just an AM or an FM band or both or just one or the other, I'll let you know. But that's what you got going on. Uh, it's nice. Oh, yeah, let me just, I brought the tape rule around anyway. So let me just give you a little, um, well, the base, let's put it down here so you can see it here. The base from, from the wide part, um, from one end to the other, is roughly about nine inches. You can see that. It's about roughly about nine inches. Okay. The figurine not counting on the base i'm going to count the figurine up from you know, standing on the base we got over here just, just in case you want to know i mean you know you might want to know this stuff uh he is roughly as you can see in the thing here is roughly the um comes in clear enough well if you can't from the top of his head it's uh, roughly nine and a half inches from what i see here okay so you got an idea how tall he is well the width you don't need to know that but <laughs> But that's how big the figurine is. So um, that's all I could tell you about it. Like I said, again, if there's anything you need to, uh, you know, any additional information I could help you with, like, you, know, I'll let you, you know, just email me at rjpassini at verizon.net. And like I said, again, we got the Star Wars. Uh, they call it the Clone Wars, I guess, the clock radio. And again, if you are the buyer of this, it will be neatly packed and wrapped up. And uh, that's all I could tell you. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.